Since many governments now require bid responses to be submitted electronically, you may find yourself wondering how to submit an e-bid response on Demandstar. There's no charge for you to submit your proposal electronically through Demandstar. However, you will need to be registered and have an account. The process is very simple and only takes a few steps. Click on the solicitation. You will see the bid details page, which is standard for all solicitations on Demandstar. Assuming you already have your bid response documents and are ready to respond, simply click on the Submit eBid Proposal button. On the first page, it'll show you the three steps. Enter your contact information, upload the document, review the bid, and you're done. Because you have an account with a Demandstar already, all contact information is filled in automatically. Please review it to ensure it is correct. Governments typically require you to enter the bid amount and sometimes an alternate bid amount. So make sure to enter your bid amount so it is ready to show during a public bid opening meeting. Conversely, they may not want you to put a dollar amount there. They may ask you to submit a separate pricing document and not enter the full amount on the summary page, in which case you'll enter the number zero. Please read the bid documents carefully to ensure you're following their instructions. Once you've entered what they asked for in their solicitation document, scroll down and click on Next. Now you will upload documents as per their list of required document files. They may list just one document, a proposal document, in which case you can put all of your different forms and bid response documents together into a single document to upload. Instead, they may prefer you to upload each document individually like a checklist, or they may require some combination of the two. There are some cases when a document needs to be submitted offline. Use the drop-down menu to choose whether you're uploading this document electronically, submitting it manually, or not submitting that document type at all. Be careful, though. Your response may be disqualified if you do not submit all the required documents. Now upload your document. You also have the opportunity to upload supplemental, i.e. non-requested documents. For example, if you have a great set of references, you may upload your references as a separate non-required document. Again, be sure to carefully read all of the instructions the agency provides in the bid documents to ensure supplemental documents are not expressly forbidden for this bid. Now click on Upload All. Then click on the button labeled Next. On this last page, you review what you've entered. Again, make sure you enter the bid amount as requested, either the full amount or no amount. Review the list of documents you've uploaded. Finally, read through the process that happens after you click on Submit Response. This lets you know exactly what will happen afterwards and the notifications that you will receive. Click on Submit Response and your bid response is automatically submitted. Most governments use a closed submission process, which means the government agency will not open or have access to your response until the due date and time, upon which all the information and documents become available to them. However, some governments have policies that allow them to review submissions early. If, after you finish submitting your proposal, you realize you need to edit the bid amount or change documents, you may come back to this detail page and click on the Edit eBid Response button. This is available up until the due date and time. You can edit any of the information you submitted. Just do not forget to resubmit your new proposal. If you want to confirm your response was complete and submitted correctly or see past proposals you've submitted, go to Responses at the top of the screen. Click on the eBid submission that you'd like to review in the left column. Read through the summary and confirm it says complete, which means they received it as a completed package. You may also click on the document name to download a copy of the document to confirm it is the correct version. To see an audit trail for this response, you can click on View History. From there, you can review the dates and times of when you started the response, uploaded documents, and completed the submission. Government agencies also are able to review this audit trail for your submission. 
That's all there is to submitting an eBid response on DemandStar. If you need help with any part of your response, please email us at support at demandstar.com and make sure to let us know if your question is urgent or time sensitive.